Argonne National Laboratory is leading the way in greenhouse gas reductions, particularly with the recapture and recycling of sulfur hexafluoride, also known as SF6. You may be wondering, what is SF6? It's an inert gas uh, and it's used extensively in various types of high energy electrical equipment. Uh, the main purpose of SF6 is to prevent arcing that can occur when you have high voltage uh, systems and operations. And at this point in time, it's pretty much the only type of gas you can use for a certain type of applications. So why is SF6 important to greenhouse gas reductions? Because one pound of SF6 is equivalent to 12 tons of carbon dioxide. To give you a sense of how much that is, consider that the average car would have to drive all the way around the Earth once and then go from Chicago to Germany to emit that much carbon dioxide equivalent. As SF6 is used, it eventually loses its anti-arcing properties and must be exchanged for properly charged gas. Environmental engineer Greg Barrett works with scientists and engineers at Argonne to coordinate SF6 recapturing and recycling efforts. When systems have to be opened up, electron microscopes or accelerators, things like that, rather than having that gas simply emitted to the atmosphere, we now have systems in place where that gas can be recaptured if it's still in relatively good shape, it can be put back into the system. If it has deteriorated due to exposure to high uh, voltage and high energy, uh, that gas eventually can get sent back to be reclaimed and then eventually reused. At Argonne, we save over 16,000 tons of SF6 from being emitted into the atmosphere each year. That's equivalent to 192,000 tons of carbon dioxide and over 18,600 trips around the world in the average gasoline-fueled car. By recycling the gas rather than purchasing it new, Argonne saves over $208,000 in taxpayer money each year. As a U.S. Department of Energy facility, Argonne is committed to practicing both vanguard environmental leadership and responsible stewardship of its taxpayer funding. U.S. Energy Secretary Stephen Chu recognized the Fugitive Emissions Working Group, of which Argonne National Laboratory is a part, with the 2011 Secretary's Achievement Award. Greg Barrett accepted the award on behalf of Argonne National Laboratory and all Argonne employees who have contributed to the laboratory's SF6 reduction efforts. Well, it was a tremendous honor, obviously. It was, of course, part of an overall effort by many members of the Argonne community, and I was certainly very thrilled and honored to accept that on behalf of all the people here who have helped in our SF6 reduction efforts. At this time, SF6 is regulated only in that certain industries, such as utilities and power production and distribution services, are required to report how much SF6 they are emitting. However, there are no SF6 emission reduction requirements in the U.S. at this time. Argonne is leading the way in SF6 emission reductions through its proactive and voluntary recovery and recycling system.